All right. So you've got your towel all, you know, wound up. You've got your block. Just set those over to the side for now. And we're going to start to seat it however you want. A lot of what we're going to do today is going to require a lot of back strength. I hope you can hear me okay. I forgot to put my mic on. That's okay. It's quiet. I'm good. Thanks. So um, we're going to start with just some opening up of the shoulders with some easy breath. We're going to do lots of core and then get into the back to um, get that goal of getting your hands ahead of the golf club head at impact. So we'll start seated. We're going to bring our arms up into a goal post. And so this will be the inhale. And then the exhale is going to be a rotation down for an internal rotation of the shoulder blade. And then inhale is going to be up. It's like robot arms. And exhale, bring it down. And we'll do like six of these. So just warming up, external rotation, internal rotation. Nice and easy. But you may already feel that your lower back might be acting up, which is also an indication that you're probably using your lower back too much through your rotation instead of your thoracic spine. I'm already feeling it. It's, that's my posture as well. Okay, now we're going to add a lift. So it's going to go all the way up. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. And then exhale. Good. And we'll do like four of these. So the whole time, right, you're going to, especially at the rotation, you're going to feel that golf ball squeezing in the scapula. Good. And then imagine doing this with even just three to five pound weights, the strength that you're going to get in these shoulders so that you don't have that slumped shoulder posture. Good. All right. And then release. That hurt. All right. So now we're going to bring that left arm across. And then imagine as if you're going to the top of the swing. So it's kind of hard to do it seated. We're going to do it again standing. But bring the left arm across. Keep the shoulder down and kind of look over that shoulder and lean forward slightly. Yeah. And then you can even feel a nice stretch through the neck here. And then I want you to stay as you are with the elbows, but just bring it over here as you were finishing the swing and bring the chin to look over the right tricep. And then inhale, bring it across. And then exhale, finish. So top of the swing and then finish. One more time, just stretching the shoulders and down. Good. And then just switch sides to so circle it out. Okay, now we're going to go to the finish. So you'll bring your right arm across. Left hand holds on to that bicep. Get the shoulder down, bend the elbow, belly tight, and just get that rotation to finish off, feel the stretch through the neck. And you can get a little more, just be gentle by pulling the cheek towards the shoulder. And then Across. God, this is awkward to do it the other way. So here to here. I am so not a lefty. Good. One more. Oh, this is so awkward to go the other way. And down. Good. Okay. Shake that out. Okay, then we're going to bring the right arm up, left hand to the floor, and just get into your lats. So you know this one. So left hand presses into the ground. Yep. Open up through the ribs. Pull the navel to the spine. And then turn the right rib cage open. And then maybe even send the right arm back a little bit more. So you have only the right scapula bone engaged, but keep the belly tight so you don't dump into the low back. And then bring that down. Okay, and then left arm is going to lift, right palm flat if it's okay. Hip goes left, reach across. Get soft through the right elbow. Don't lock. Okay, and then turn the left rib cage open, belly in. And then maybe swing the left arm back a little more. Feel the left scapula really open up. Good. And then bring it back and down. Okay. Bring both hands to your lower back. Lace your fingers. If you can't lace your fingers, you can get your towel already at this point. And then bring your shoulders up towards your ears and then back. And then send the hands away from the lower spine. Don't lock the elbow. It's just away. And then you're going to turn towards the right knee. Squeezing the bones together. And then center. And turn towards the left knee. Good. And then center. And then all the way forward. Coming with the chest down. Lift the arms up. And then maybe head to the floor, lift the arms all the way up. 
and release. Come all the way back up. Okay, loosen up the arms. <laughs> this just shows you how much tension is in these shoulders, golfer or not. Holy mackerel. Okay, we're going to bring the right arm up again, and then you're going to bring it into the middle of those bones. And then the biggest thing that I see people having a hard time with because their shoulders are so darn tight is that they can't get this elbow in the middle of their head. So I want you to pull the elbow to the middle of the back of your head the best that you can. Don't dump and hyperextend. If anything, knit the ribs together and then push the head into the elbow up and then just stay there. You just breathe naturally. I really should have done an assessment for you all before and after all of this opening today to see how flexible the arms were, but I'll do that next time. Okay, now keep the right hand where it is, the right elbow where it is. Take the left hand to your lower back and see if you can find those fingers. This will be a good assessment already. Yeah, there comes that weird S thing that we do, right, to um, get out of the way of our patterns of tightness in the mid back, especially if you're a strong person. This is friggin' hard. Okay, left hand down, right hand down. Oh, circulation comes back. <laughs> I know. Okay, left arm, same thing. So it goes to the middle of the scapula. Yep. I'm like pulling on my braid here to get that. And then take the right hand to the left elbow and bring it to the best that you can to the middle of your head, but knit the ribs in. Don't dump into your stack. And you're also going to find, this is interesting too, your posture pattern or lack of. So for me, I have a tilt where my butt kind of sticks out, right? I'm always in that, which means I get a hyper lumbar spine curve. So I have to adjust it and really pull my belly button in. So find your pattern. Do you feel like you're sticking your ribs out? If so, tuck your tailbone in and under, and that will address that pattern as well, which is also telling you something's happening at impact. And we'll get into this in a little bit more too. Okay. Bring the right hand to your lower back. See what this is like. And generally, your right shoulder isn't as flexible as your left. So you may not, right, isn't that wild because we're right handed, right handed or right hand dominated. Good, and breathe. Push your head into the elbow. And circulation comes back. Yeah, bring your hand, your right hand to the top of the head and just gently stretch out the neck. Nice and easy. And then bring their chin down towards the right collarbone. And then walk the left fingers away from you on the ground, walk them away. And then hold softness in your stomach. So don't try and overextend too much. Just get soft. Isolate the left side. Good. And then release. Left hand on top of the head. And then first, just gently. And pull the ear towards the left shoulder. Right hand's just chilling out. And then guide that neck, just slight pressure. It's just like the weight of the hand does the work. Chin towards the left collarbone. Get soft, right? Stop yanking at your back. And then walk the right fingers away from you. And just breathe naturally. Let go of tension in the lower part of the body. And just feel the body expanding right through this right neck and shoulder. Good. Okay, and then release that. Couple shoulder shrugs, forward, back. Good. Okay, and then I'm going to come have you all come into the tabletop. So if you need that towel that you already got under your knees, that's okay. And we'll just start nice and easy. I forgot to take my socks off. I look ridiculous. Hold on. <laughs> it's a ridiculous kind of week. I'm not going to lie, you guys. All right, knees under hips, shoelace part of your feet down, and let's just get the hands activated, or really it's the shoulder blades activated by dragging them out apart. So I'd like you to pull it apart and then release. So drag them out apart, elbows are gonna bend, and release, and then one more, drag them out apart, and Release, okay, extend the right leg up, flex the toe, pull the navel in. Okay, and you know this one very well, reach the left hand forward, and then shift the body weight forward. Just get your core activated. Good, and then drop the right toes right into the ground, keep the leg straight, and then I want you to try to thread the needle. Left arm goes underneath the chest, you know, left ear down. 
Okay, now keep that right elbow bent at 90 degrees and use that as leverage to rotate the mid spine over the left lower shoulder. Yep. And you're gonna feel this left shoulder getting a nice deep stretch while the right shoulder is strengthening. Good. Stay as you are with the arms. Bring the right knee down beside the left knee, regular threaded needle. Lengthen the neck. Good. And then lift the right arm all the way up and to the lower back. And then just relax into that left shoulder and stretch it. Relax into it. Good. And then place the right hand back under the shoulder. Press into the floor and lift back up. Okay, three drag aparts. So this is too easy, right? If you want a little bit more for the core activation, you want to do the pull apart, you could come into plank. So I'm going to use that because my lower back is feeling it needs a little more support. Otherwise, stay on the knees. Okay, here we go. Drag them out apart. Activate the, uh, the upper back muscles and soften. And then drag the floor apart and soften. And then one more drag. Good. And soften. Knees can come down. Left leg out, stretch the calf, pull the belly in, and then lift her up. Okay, right arm goes forward, activate your core, flex the toes, find your alignment cues. Breathe. Okay, and then just the toes come back down. The right arm comes underneath the chest, right ear to the floor, thread the needle. Keep the left elbow at a 90 degree bend, perfect and use that as leverage to get a deeper stretch on the bottom shoulder and strength of the top, turning that rib cage up. Good. Even the fingertips can get active here. Good. Okay, leave the hands as they are. Bring the left knee down, left knee down. And then this is where you can play and lift the left arm up to the lower back and really twist into it. And here you have the freedom to do what your body needs. Maybe the hand behind your head. Explore your body. What feels the best? Good. And then once again, bring the left hand to the floor. Press into the hand. Lift it all the way up to tabletop. Okay, and let's go ahead and bring the knees. Oh, I'm sorry, the legs all the way out to an extension. Come all the way to your stomachs. Okay, so this is where you're gonna need your towel and you're gonna need your block in about three minutes. So go ahead and get that handy. Cool, all right. So we're gonna start just right here. So before we even go anywhere with the block and the towel, let's get the body warmed up to what it's gonna be having to do. So I'd like you to turn your cheek so that you're looking um, towards the camera. Hopefully that would be your left cheek down then. And I want you to just start by lifting the right elbow up. Lift the right elbow up, lift the right forearm up, and then release. Okay, lift the right elbow up, lift the right forearm up, and release, and then one more time. Elbow up, forearm up, and release. Okay, other side, turn your head to look to the left. Lift the left elbow up, Lift the left forearm and hand up and release. Left elbow up, left forearm and hand up and release. And then one more time. Good. And release. Okay. Go ahead and send the hands out in front of you. Keep your forehead on the towel um, for support or straight on the mat, it's up to you. I'm gonna use a towel today under my forehead and bring my hand out in front of me. So I'm in the I of the letter I, right? So we're gonna go I, W, lift. And I'll explain it as we go. So the forehead stays down, lift up your arms, bend your elbows back like you're making a W, and then lift up your head, look forward. Release, head down, arms forward, and to the ground. Okay, here we go. 
Forehead stays down, arms go up. Squeeze the elbows back. Lift the head off the towel. Extend the arms, forehead to the towel. We're gonna do eight of these. So head down, arms up, elbows squeeze back, head lifts up, everything releases. That's set three. Here we go. Lift, squeeze, down. Arms up, elbows back, head up, release. Arms up, elbows back, head up, release. Two more. Arms up, elbows back, Head up, release. The last one. I wish I could see you guys. Your heads are chopped off. <laughs> Lift up the arms, elbows back. Head up. You got it. Good job. And release. I can see you with this. <laughs> and go down. I see Janet's head bobbing up and down. All right, cool. Okay, so let's give those arms a break. Roll onto your back. Okay, we're going to come back, though. Don't worry. We're going to go core, shoulders, core, shoulders it's really lower back as well so now coming onto your back i want you to lift your feet up and get a 90 degree angle with your body okay we're just gonna do very simple very basic crunches so hands behind your head chest towards the left knee and we're going to go about 20 seconds so right shoulder towards the left knee 20 seconds just to kind of neutralize everything very basic nothing fancy just activate the belly towards the spine for support. 10 seconds. Chin off chest. Five seconds. I'm going to switch sides in three, two, one. Left shoulder to the right knee. 20, I'm oh, sorry, 30 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. We did. Just activate, support. Turn on the belly. 10 seconds. And three, two, and one. All right, bring the feet down, please. Okay, grab your block. And I'd like you to place it um, outside of your left hip and about four to six inches away from your hip. Can you see my block? Yeah, you can. Okay, and you keep your head if you want underneath your neck, under your head, wherever you need it. Okay, go ahead and straighten the left leg out. Bring the right knee into your chest. And then place the right knee onto the block that's resting to the left, and then adjust your hips so that there's a long straight line between the left heel of the hip and the left shoulder blade. Okay, and then I want you to bring your left arm underneath your left ear. So my right knee is resting, on top of the block, my left ear is resting on my arm, and I want you to lift your right arm up. Okay, so it's going to be right arm up, and then you're going to open it up, turn the chest to the ceiling, and then close it up towards the left. Inhale, open it up, stretching those shoulders, and then exhale, close it up. We're going to do like six of these, so we're neutralizing the spine, opening up the shoulder without restriction, and then we're gonna go back to the next few sets of the towel and the block. Two more. And what's nice with the block under the knee, you can't mess up your alignment, your lower back alignment. It keeps you in a neutral zone. Okay, same thing, other side. So come on to the back again. Place the block outside of the right hip, extend the right leg out. You know where we're going. First pull the left knee in. Roll onto the right hip, knee rests on the block. Bring the head to rest on the right arm, extend it over your head. Lift the left arm up to the sky. And then you know what to do, right? So you're opening, stretching, and then left hand to the floor. Inhale, open. Exhale, close it up. About six to eight of these. This bringing some tension out of the body, nice and gentle for the recovery, so that you're not constantly in lockdown forward shoulder position. Good. All right, then continue onto your stomach. Roll all the way over again onto your belly. 
And then you want to get your block in front of you now. So in front of your chest. And we're gonna do pull ins. So you're gonna get your towel. So you can control how hard this is on how wide you grip this towel. So the closer together you hold this thing, the easier. The wider is gonna be more challenging and you'll figure it out as you go. So it's gonna do, you're gonna to come to the top of your mat and this block or glove box you're using is gonna to have to slide. So you're gonna slide that block away from you and then you're gonna lift up with the muscles in your back, pull this towel apart, wrap around the block, pull it in to lift and then push it back away and release. Okay, so wrap around, pull, lift your chest, and then push it back. So you're just sliding forward and back. So towel, open, pull, lift, squeeze the elbows in, and then start all over again, push it away. Okay, we're gonna go 30 seconds. So we're about 10 seconds in. So pull the towel, drag the elbows in, and then push back away. Good, keep going. Elbows drag in and push away. Halfway there, pull in, squeeze, and back. You should really feel your thoracic spine completely activated and your shoulders externally rotating. Five more seconds. Drag in, pull apart. Let's get one more in. Pull in, squeeze. And release. Huh. Okay. Leave the towel where it is. Grab your block or block of gloves or towel. I'm going to say best is going to be with the block. And then place your forehead right on top of the block and bring your elbows back into that robot arms or 90 degree elbow bend. Okay. And then you're going to bring your palms down, lift your elbows up. And then lift the hands up and bring them to your lower back, lace them, and start again. Swing forward, elbows down. Okay, elbows up, hands up, squeeze back and do six of these. Extend the arms and then all the way forward for three. Elbows up, hands up, squeeze the elbows back, lace the fingers, extend, and release. Three more. Elbows up, hands up, squeeze, arms back and lace, extend, two more. Yeah, I know these are hard. It strengthens all of your neck muscles too. Squeeze, extend, last one. Elbows up, hands up, reach back, extend, and release. Good, okay. Get rid of the block for a second. We got more to come, don't worry. Lift yourself back up tabletop and go into child's pose. Give your lower back a break because it does like to take over. And then rest your elbows down. Just give everything a chill second here. You can even turn your temple to the left, to the right. Take three, four breaths on each side. And then going over to the other side. Good. Okay, and then let's go back into the core. So go ahead and lift back onto the hands. Come into plank if you like that variation. And we're gonna do the drag apart again. So plank or tabletop, three second drag the yoga mat apart, turn on the belly. Two, one, take a break, knees down. Right back up, drag. Three, two, one, knees down. Okay, one more time. Lift, drag, here's your core, your posture, navel in. Good, knees down. Okay, right leg back, left leg forward, or left arm forward. <laughs> yeah, right leg back, left leg forward. Let me know how that works out for you. Shift the body weight, lift the right leg up. Okay, and then this time just sit. We'll do elbow to the knee and just stretch out the back. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, crunch. Find your breath. Keep your right shoulder over your wrist. One more. And then immediately switching on other side. Right hand forward, left leg back. Here we go. Bring it in. 
So I found that if you don't go back and forth with the core, it's just way too much on the back, and you can't help but go into a lazier pattern because it's hard. <laughs> Good. One more. Good. And release. Okay, come all the way back to the stomach, please. Okay, and then this, this time, bring your left forearm across horizontally. You guys can see me okay, right? Because I know these are like weird things. All right, cool. So left forearm goes across sideways, and then I want you to bring the block um, in front of the fingertips, the left fingertips, because your right elbow is going to go on top of it, your right forearm. Okay, so you're going to rest, so maybe look at me first. So stomach is down. You're gonna rest your forehead on top of your left um, wrist or forearm. And then you're gonna lift just your forearm up, like your hand and your forearm. The right elbow stays on the block. So you feel that huge external rotation. And then the elbow comes up and then back down. So forearm up, elbow on the block, and then elbow up. And we're gonna do eight of these forearm down. Forearm up, elbow up. Everything down. Good. Forearm up. Elbow up. Everything down. Keep going. Forearm. Elbow squeeze. Down. Three more. Forearm. Elbow. Down. Forearm. Elbow stays on the block. Up and down. Last one, please. Forearm up. Elbow up and down. Good. Okay, switch sides. Right forearm comes across, block outside the left. Here we go. Head on top of the right forearm, left elbow and forearm on the block long wise. Here we are. So elbow stays on the block, forearm lifts, elbow lifts, and down. Forearm up, elbow up, everything down. We need eight. Forearm, elbow, release. Forearm, Elbow, release, five, four more, forearm, elbow, up, good, three more, forearm, good, elbow, release, very nice, two more, forearm, elbow, release, last one, forearm, elbow, release, excellent, okay, bring it down, <laughs> okay, you're going to grab your towel, block out of the way, and then again, Decide if you want it wide or close together, you can pick. Okay, we're gonna go eight up and down, the hands, the elbows, then the head will, the chest, then the head will lift. Okay, so we're gonna go eight up and down while pulling the dowel or the towel apart. So we're, here we go. Arms, chest, head, pull at the top and release. Arms, chest, head, Pull apart, release, we're doing eight. Arms, chest and head, pull, release. Keep going, inhaling to lift, exhaling to come down with control. Inhaling to lift, exhale. Three more, arms, chest, head, down. Two more, arms, chest, head, release. Okay, at the top, hold it on this last one. Bend the elbows, bring the towel behind your neck. Yep, bring it forward, release. Okay, seven more. Top, pull behind your neck, and forward, release. Arms up, chest and head, pull back, over, release. Three more. Top, pull back, over, release. Two more, I know these are hard. Up, pull back, they suck, <laughs> release. Last one, lift up, pull back, forward, release. God bless. All right, arms down. <laughs> Who knew freaking arms and uh, posture would be so tough? So arms down, goal post. Now let's just massage out the shoulder. So roll to the left hip, lift onto the left hip, lift the right leg up. Bend the knee, just stretch out that left shoulder. Right knee is pointed up. We've done this one many times. Breathe, melt into the left shoulder that's outside of the arm. We're gonna stay here for a little extra. Good. 
And then I'd like you to come all, all the way back down and over to the other side. Arms are still like that gold post. Turn your cheek to the left. Roll to your right hip. Lift up that left leg, bend the knee, place the foot on the ground behind the right leg, and just stretch. We're staying here for about six to eight breaths. Good. And then release. Ah, okay. Come all, all the way to the left forearm and you're on your side body. Okay, so now let's get into the obliques a little bit. And of course, we've got more of the shoulders. So you can do this one with your knees bent or legs extended. It's going to be harder, easier knees in. Okay, so we're going to lift up to test our hip strength and our shoulder of rotator cuff strength. So right hand on the hip. Keep the right shoulder right over the right ribs, right ribs right over the left ribs, and so on. Okay, so lift up, test the strength of the shoulder. The knees can be bent, right, and on the floor, otherwise up. And then right hand lifts once you get steady. And we're gonna hold here for six to eight breaths. So now we've got all of this opening and strength. Now how do we utilize that to find power, right, with that left shoulder really working here? And you may find that it's much easier to stack the body now that it's properly aligned, right? So without good posture, there's no way in hell you're strengthening your muscles properly. And release. Good job, you guys. Switch. Other side. Come on to the right hip. Knees can be bent and on the ground. Stacking, right? Left hand to the hip. Left shoulder over the right shoulder. Right elbow on the shoulder. A little bit away from the shoulder, though. And then lift and hold. Left arm can go up. Testing the right shoulder's capabilities after all this posture and strength. Navel to the spine. Good, about six more breaths. Good job. Okay, and then gently release all the way down. Okay, now I'd like you to grab your block again. This block, you're never going to look at a yoga block or a box of gloves the same again. Okay, and then I want you to put it, um, let's go lower and wide. So you're going to have it on second setting, right? So this is one, this is two, this is three. I'd like it on two, so it's this way. And I'd like you to go right underneath the bra strap. Um, so right below the shoulder blades, right? And I'd like you to try to keep your butt on the ground when you do this. So the head, there's another thing I forgot. Um, you wanna get that towel, my bad, and place that where your head's gonna go for support. Okay, so bra strap, if you can get there, and if that's still too high, just come down to the first setting. Okay, so the butt's down, the head's on the towel, and the arms open up. And you're gonna have to play with this until you're comfortable, but it should be right, like shoulder blades, um, a little lower, depending on what you need, and the arms down by the side. Let the arm just be lazy. And I want you to just get soft through the stomach. Stop squeezing the tension. So this is pretty damn hard if you're not open. So just gaze where you are. Adjust the block if you need to help. Even if you need to get rid of the block and put the towel there instead, that's okay. And we're going to stay for about 30 seconds here. So just really letting gravity help to open up these shoulders and external rotation. So the palms need to be up. Okay, let me come check on you guys. Well, all I see are fans and palm trees, so I'm gonna assume you're all okay. <laughs> Good. About 15 more seconds. So try to breathe really soft, really easy into the body. And then extend the arms over your head. And this is going to be even more of a stretch. If that's too much, just come back to where you were. And try to take three final breaths like this. And explore the body, not through pain, but what happens as you extend your arms in a way that isn't how you normally move. Just play with it. Good. 
Okay, and then go ahead and bring the arms back down, elbows to the floor, push into them, lift your head up slowly. Holy macaroni, I know. Okay, next, grab this little happy thing you've got under you, and I want you to put it under your tailbone now. So, whatever setting again, high, medium, low, I don't suggest high. I need to go low, then I'm gonna put my head back down on the floor, and my knees are just bent for now. So we're gonna all start here for a second. So keep your knees bent, just feel support at your sacrum. So um, Janet, I know that your knees are sensitive, so on this next one, you're gonna have to go really slow and mindful as to not aggravate any tendons in there, okay? So let's start with the right knee. This is fine for you, Janet. Bring the right knee to the chest and keep the left foot flat on the ground. Just melt all tension in the hips and the lower back. And then you're gonna to try to reach for the right shin with the right hand and then maybe the right ankle. Take the left hand down to the floor, good. And then you're gonna guide that foot. So this is gonna be weird, we've never done this before, this is new. You're gonna guide, guide that foot down to the floor, top of the foot into the ground. I hope that made sense. So your shoelace part of the foot goes right beside the outside of the block. And then you're gonna just squeeze the right butt cheek. So you should feel like a crazy stretch in the front of your right hip flexor, right? So the right top of your foot down, squeeze the right butt cheek and just let all of those muscles soften. And then the arms out by your side, and we're gonna stay for about 10 more breaths. So anytime you squeeze the opposing sides, you get more of a release through the side that you're trying to recover on. Three. Two, one more breath. Good. And then go ahead and grab that ankle, untuck it and place the right foot beside the left foot and just compare the sides. Compare the right hip to the left hip. <sighs> okay, now just for a second, bring the arms down by your sides, palms down, and lift the hips up off the block. Just give yourself a nice little back bend here. Squeeze the knees together. Squeeze the glutes. Walk the shoulder blades a little closer together. Two more breaths. And then gently descend, articulating the spine, one bone at a time, until the lower back finds the block. Okay, left knee to the chest. Good. Okay, and then grab the left ankle or shin. Guide that foot beside the outside of the block and try to get the top of the foot, ooh, knuckles, or knuckles, toes crack like crazy here. And then go ahead and bring the top of the foot down. So if you're someone who has inflexibility in the ankles too, this is gonna treat a whole slew of things through the body. That's a real professional word, slew. Okay, arms beside you. And then depending on how much you want to feel in this one, squeeze the left butt cheek. I'm gonna do about 30 seconds here. About 10 more seconds. Good. And then go ahead and start to, to grab the left ankle, undo that foot, bring the left foot beside the right foot, and then go ahead and bring both knees into your chest slowly, maybe one knee at a time. Arms to stay down and just gently rock the knees towards the chest and then feet to the floor. Knees to the chest, just rocking it out and to the floor. A few more times, that feels actually really good. 
And then the next time that the knees come to the chest, stay there and extend the legs up. So you have this really nice assisted inversion. Femur of the legs, really just gravitationally pulling into your sockets. And if there's anything that would feel good here, please feel, feel free if you want to rotate the ankles, point and flex the toes, see how the back of the legs feel. And just breathing. So it's kind of like a, an assisted shoulder stand, which is really good for the throat and for all of the organs because you're stimulating deeper breath through the throat. And then you're giving them the massage to all the organs in the body because the vagus nerve is getting slightly constricted, which feeds all the organs into relaxation. Then please bend your knees, place the feet flat down on the ground, adjust the block, and then extend the legs straight all the way straight. Bring the arms by the hips and just chill out for a second. Okay, so up to 30 seconds here and then we're going to come down to last to the floor. Close your eyes. Let the sounds of outside just soothe you. If it's the thunder you're hearing like I am. Fifteen more seconds. And then when you're ready, go ahead, bend the knees, place the feet flat, lift the hips, move the block off ah, out of the way. Just take a second before you do anything. Just chill out. Feet on the ground. You don't want to go in opposite directions too much. Okay, and then windshield wiper. Knees left and right. Nice and easy. Left and right. Neutralize again the lower back. Okay, and then we're going to have one more shoulder opener here to really find that ability to get the hands ahead of the, the uh, golf club head. Okay, go ahead and still the knees moving. Bring the arms beside your hips. And then again, bend the forearms so that the fingertips are pointed up to the ceiling. Keep the feet flat, press into the elbows, and lift your chest up. As if you had that block underneath your bra strap before and the top of the head down. So you've got your chest fully open, the shoulders are drawing away from one another, and holding here. Three, two, one more breath. And push into the elbows, lower the head down, pull the knees to the chest. Place the feet back down on the ground, open the arms wide like a T. And then bring the legs into any comfortable restorative position for a shavasana. The legs can stay with the knees bent. The legs can open up like a diamond. They can extend out wide and tall like a star. And just give yourself a moment to just feel all of the body through the arms, the shoulders, the lower back. And begin to find a little deeper breath here. Good. And then if you haven't yet, please re-bend the knees. And come to the right side. I want to feel something in a moment. And push yourself gently up, seated. Ah. 
Okay. I'd like you to take your arms, bring them, reach them forward, and then circle them all the way up and back behind your hips. Draw the ribs together. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then lift the fingertips up and lift the gaze up. And just feel your rotation. So I want to go sideways. So now I want my palms to face one another and just keep drawing an external rotation of the shoulders. And maybe you can even measure how far away the palms are from one another. So this was the assessment I was supposed to do before the class. So generally when you start a class like that, you're pretty darn wide. And then as you get closer, you see that eventually your arms can go at the level of the bra strap to see how able the body was to um, open up. There you go. So release it, see how you feel. And then tell me if you guys have any questions. What did you think of that?